of Portland. Once again, you're tuned into KPSU, Portland's college radio. We've been broadcasting since 1994 on the Portland State campus and streaming worldwide 24-7 at www.kpsu.org, where all of our fabulous shows are available for podcast and download. I have the wonderful band of Happy Death in the studio. They're warming up right now, as you can hear. We've got a little bit of a delay with the sound check. There's been some issues trying to find cables and whatnot. But if you want to check them out, they are actually performing on PSU TV that you can watch them. So if you'd like to watch them as well as hear them, you can go to PSU.TV and click on the uh, streaming. If you want the direct link, it is PSU.TV slash PSU hyphen TV hyphen live, L-I-B-E hyphen two, like the number two. And then you can just click on that. There's also a chat open, so you can chat with me, ask them some questions and whatnot. Uh, In the meantime, while we're still trying to uh, get all of our sound stuff together, I'm going to play one of the songs they won't be performing tonight, but it is on their new album. So here is the track, Bones. Enjoy. KPSU is brought to you in part by the PSU Bike Hub. A Bike Hub membership is only available to PSU students and faculty, where you get access to their tools and equipment, and they'll help you work on your bike. Of course, they also offer numerous free workshops and clinics. They sell bike accessories, they offer lock removal, secure bike parking permits, bike loans, and of course, professional service and repair.
once again, this is DJ Rochelle here on Live Friday. We've got the wonderful band, A Happy Death, warming up in the studio. They're getting through the sound check right now as we're speaking. Um, I'm sitting here searching for one of the tracks here I'm going to play while they finish up doing all the sound check whatnot. So we had a little trouble trying to find all of the cables we needed to get everything moving so they could actually hear themselves, which is always helpful, of course. Um, and of course, we've got people that help make this station possible that we're going to thank. And then I might pull down one more of the Happy Death songs before we throw them on air live. If you want to check them out, they're also performing on PSU TV. The link is psu.tv slash psu hyphen tv hyphen live hyphen two. And that way you can see them performing right now even as they're doing the sound check. Hey Portland, want to get in touch with the city's music, community, and culture? Then pick up a copy of 11PDX Magazine or visit 11PDX.com and that's your free monthly music and culture magazine with up-to-date content from local, national, and international artists. Volume 2 featured interviews with Macklemore, Foles, Unknown Moral Orchestra, Dan Deacon, and plenty more and we can't wait for an exciting Volume 3 at Mississippi Studios or over 250 additional Portland locations or visit us online at 11PDX.com. This is Rochelle. We've got a wonderful band of Happy Death. Almost ready to go. I'm going to play the track Surf Rock Band. And after that, we'll be throwing them live on air here at KPSU.
Android users, did you know you're the only ones that can download the KPSU app? Available for free on the Google Play Store. Is that a faucet running? That's not a faucet. That's a river rushing through the forest. Forest rivers provide over 100 million people with clean water to drink. What? I can't hear you because of the vacuum. That's not a vacuum. That's the trees in the forest cleaning up the air we breathe. I didn't know the trees were so amazing. Yep, and the forest gives us shade, trees to climb. That's awesome. Let's go explore some more. Visit the forest today and enjoy all it does just for you. To learn more about the forest and find one near you, go to discovertheforest.org. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service and the Ad Council. Today, you ate Greek yogurt. You took the train. You wondered why people spend so much time reading celebrity blogs. You read a celebrity blog. You planned a workout. You skipped it. You did all the things that one normally does the day before a devastating earthquake shakes the community to the ground. You never know when the day before is the day before. Prepare for tomorrow at ready.gov slash today. Brought to you by FEMA and the Ed Council. It sounds so serious. I have in the studio sitting next to me right now, Jacqueline of A Happy Dad. Hey Mom. there, DJ Rochelle. <laughs> <laughs> so we're all scrambling out there trying to get sound check moving. Yeah, it's been it's been one of those days. I think it's just like something going on in the universe. Oh wait, there's like an E. coli scare going on. Right, it's a, you can joke about there's something in the water, but there, really there is. There really is, but apparently it's very, very minor, they're saying. Yeah. But don't take my word for it, you should probably check the news, you know. Yeah, I, I just saw like probably 20 posts on Facebook about it. Yeah. Which is kind of ridiculous. But. Yeah, kind of, I, I thought about doing it, I won't lie, I'm like, no, other people will hop on that and talk about it first, but. It's kind of funny how you can get so much of your news from Facebook. Say what? It's funny how much news you can get from Facebook now. Yes, it's very true. But you have to ask. You have to always have. You always have to ask where the source is coming from. And what is this news? Is it gossipy news? Is it factual news? Is it political news? Is this just some person's opinion? Right. Like when they post about, oh my gosh, it's sunny outside. Yeah. Like, you know, it's probably real. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, I look outside. And it, sure enough. By Jove, it's sunny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, switching gears a little bit. Um, you guys have a lot going on for a happy death. I'm yes. stoked to have you guys in here to chat about Thank it. Thank you for having us. Yeah, I can't wait to get the guys in and we'll all give a rundown about it. But there is, we've been very busy since we got back from our last tour at the end of April. Uh, we had our album release. That was, that's probably the first and foremost thing to mention is that we finally released our album that we recorded a year ago it's like we're all so proud to finally have it out the way that we went through so much editing process and everybody even our friends and the like, music scene are like when is that album coming out like you said you were recording what's going on I'm like well it's, it has to go through its process too you know um what was the decision to make it cassette tape the decision <laughs> well partially because uh I think there's a very cool novelty to cassette tapes that is starting to come back a little bit, especially because it's an analog, not digital thing. And, you know, CDs are just going out of style anyway. I mean, you can download anything you want for free, really, if you want. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. Can you download things? Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's not like a... <laughs> you could. It's possible. It's like a... I didn't say legally or illegally download. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but, it, but our album does have a digital download when you buy the copy. So that way you can have your nostalgic tape if you're, if you're a nerd like that. Or if you have a tape player in your car. I mean, I still do. And, uh, I mean, vinyl's really expensive to press, for one, even though we're all in love with it and agree that uh, if you're going to release something, yeah, on vinyl, we do still have those EPs that are the little, the little EPs. We find, found an extra box of them in Matt's garage, which, you know, it's, it's kind of like 
a trash heap at Fraggle Rock. It's like, you know, you just like, if you go digging through Matt's garage, you'll find everything you were missing. It's like this, it's like the crack in the couch where all the change falls. It's like it ends up at Matt's garage somehow. <laughs> so whatever you're missing, that's probably where it went. Yeah, I won't, I won't say Matt's address out loud, but you know, if you are missing something, just contact him on Facebook. We'll get it back to you. <laughs> Very fun. Well, I did want to announce for everyone who is listening, you can also watch live on PSU TV. Um, I'm going to click on the link real quick. So I can... Linky, linky. Yep, it is. Oh my gosh, that's us. <laughs> yeah, video and everything. <laughs> it is psu.tv slash psu hyphen TV hyphen live hyphen two is the direct link. Yes. If you can't remember all that, you can go to psu.tv and then click on the streaming link to get there. Nice. So there you go. It's very simple. Yeah. yeah. And, and as you notice, it, it's very crisp and pretty. <laughs> it is. Yes. You I like see. I like Ryan's leg right there. <laughs> it's got some. <laughs> it looks like he's got a tattoo. Yeah. Some kind of. Mm-hmm. Whoa. I hear someone touching my organ. Dun, dun, dun. Ha, 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 ha. I think that's your cue to run out there and see what's going on. Is it? All right. <laughs> what's going on? Yeah, we all need more vocals. <laughs> All right. Once again, DJ Rochelle here. That was Jacqueline of A Happy Death, who is the keyboardist for them. Uh, Just doing the quick introductions. Ryan is the lead vocalist, and Matt is the drummer. They have a new bassist. I believe his name is Ted. (laughs) That was like a wall of sound that just hit me there, so I'm going to shut the door. Then I can breathe. All right. I believe they will be ready to perform here in less than five minutes, so I'm just going to thank a few more people that helped make this station possible, and then I will be throwing them on air. This hour of music on KPSU is sponsored in part by Lagunitas Brewing Company. You can find out all about their unique brews and other brewery happenings online at lagunitas.com. That's L-A-G-U-N-I. TAS.com. Glad to support KPSU Radio, Lagunitas Brewing Company, keeping the pub in public broadcasting. This hour of programming on KPSU was made possible in part by Spot Magazine, a free monthly magazine for those who love and care for pets. Our motto is Everything Pets. Spot Magazine can be found at pet related businesses and libraries. Pet related submissions are welcome. SpotMagazine.net. I now have in the studio with me here Matt of A Happy Death. Hi. 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 I know we've got a little delay on the sound check, so rather than cut into your interview time, figure I'd throw you guys in here. Yeah, still wiping the cha 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 off my face. <laughs> That's right, and I fed them. Well, that's really loud. Is that coming? No, you can just hear that background wise. They just can still hear us on the mics just fine, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Gotta take one of those things off. Right? Uh, so tell me about what you guys got coming up. Well, it's top secret. I think we should announce it all together. Okay. Um, but we do have some cool things coming up this summer. Um, and uh, yeah, I'm excited about all of it. So. Very cool. You, of course, have the new album out on cassette. Yes, we do. It's about time that came out because uh, we've been sitting on it for almost a year, it feels like. Um, so it's really good to get get all that, that music out um, to the public. And I feel like we're verging on being ready to have a new record. Yeah, because there's a lot that people hear at the concerts that hasn't been on a recorded format that they can listen right. to. So That's nice great. That I got the hiccups. Got <laughs> what do I do? I have the hiccups on the breathe, radio. Matt, I'm so breathe. embarrassed. <laughs> oh, uh, boy. You didn't drink the water, did you? No. <laughs> I did this morning. I had a green smoothie oh, with no. E. coli water. And maybe that's why I have the hiccups now. It's very possible. Maybe it's because I'm chewing tobacco. Ew. And I'm like, I'm like gutting it right now. I don't, I don't know if anyone's ever done that before. That's, that's probably really why I have the hiccups. That, that does not sound pleasant. <laughs> no, it's not. It's really disgusting. Uh, all right. So, other than uh, what's going on this summer, tell me about what you've got going on with the album. Where people can buy it. Um, it's available. Um, at myhappydeath.com, which is basically our Bandcamp Bandcamp site, 
but you know you can rename your band camp to whatever you want to so that's what we have it myhappydeath.com not ahappydeath.com for some reason i think it was expensive to get that domain so you can get it there um and we'll be on itunes soon we just haven't hooked it up yet nice where can people find out about uh upcoming events and concerts our facebook um page is the most active thing and then i hate to mention like reverb nation because it seems like it kind of has a bad rep, but it's actually got a lot of good information on it. So ReverbNation.com slash a happy death or Facebook.com slash a happy death. Oh, and I keep <laughs> going. fell out of the chair that time. Yeah. That was intense. <laughs> All right, tell me a little bit about the tour you guys went on. Um, well, let's see which one. There's been like You just came now. back from in April. <laughs> <laughs> Can't get over this. Hang on one second. Yeah. <laughs> I think he's trying to swallow his tongue right now. <laughs> I need some water. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, no E. coli water. <laughs> anyway, um, let's see. We did um, a national tour in the summertime last summer, and then we did <laughs> a tour with this band that's super awesome called Cadaver Dogs. We did that in um, in like November of last year, and we got along so well. Well, that we've been staying in touch. They actually, uh, the lead singer does a lot of art, and he designed our new T-shirt, which nice. is like a, a face with like a gun that looks all <laughs> retro and cool and evil. Um, and then most recently, uh, we just went down the coast to San Diego and back. So we hit up, uh, this was in March, I guess, the end of March. Went to, um, you know, uh, Vegas and Reno and San Francisco, Oakland, um, San Diego, San Jose, a bunch of, you know, West Coast stops. And, uh, yeah, we had a good time on that tour. It was fun to see, get get to the beach, get some sunshine. Actually, we brought, we brought the rain with us everywhere we went. It was kind of, kind of a fun experience. Um, I'm getting so distracted by Mr. Rudder in the background <laughs> blaring. They're like gonna do a harmony to it tonight and they've never rehearsed it. Well, they rehearsed it for like two hours last night. I'm so nervous that it's just gonna be butchered, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, Don't tell them I said, they'll, they'll hear this tomorrow. Yes, they will. <laughs> what are you doing, dude? They're gonna sound amazing and then you'll be embarrassed. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the drummer, so I can make fun of them. Yeah, anytime you guys perform, there's like this wall of sound that hits people. Yeah. It's really intense. And if you see us live, there's also a wall of smoke and lots of flashing lights, too. In fact, I was going to ask, when did you introduce the smoke and lights? Um, well, I went on a sabbatical and quit drinking for a year. And I found that um, when I wasn't drinking, that I would kind of like have a lot of extra mental space when I was performing that I would start daydreaming about expletive and like uh so it was kind of keep me active you know like i was like i need something else to do here because i'm daydreaming while we're playing shows why am i doing that so at first it was uh we brought in um a fog machine which i i trigger with my left foot i have a uh, second bass drum and then i have the hi-hat and then i have the fog machine angled in on my heel so i can click that down um create the fog effect we had a lot of fun with the fog and then we started getting bored with that so we brought in the strobe light and initially we just had it set to like turn on you know like it has like an active setting and uh and then uh this one time i, I started thinking about like a, a foot switch that i could control it with so i could actively control the lights and put on more of a show that was in time with what we were doing because we can't afford to pay someone to do our lights for us or animated stage stuff so uh, since I've got all this extra mental space it just seemed like you know hey why don't we do it ourselves so um, yeah we rigged up a foot switch now we have two strobe lights that I control with a foot switch with my left foot as well so my left foot is really busy when we're on stage I've got uh, strobe lights my hi-hat my second bass drum and the fog machine so that that uh, aptly occupies all of that extra mental space that I've got going on. I haven't totally mastered it yet, so it's still uh, still a fun thing, and it's a challenge, which I enjoy. Yeah, 
It's almost like having a guitarist pedal strip yeah. behind the drums. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so all four of my limbs are constantly doing all kinds of stuff. Um, but I don't even know what it looks like from, you know, the visual perspective of the audience. I'm just having fun with it back there and trying to get the best effect that I think complements the music. And sometimes I overdo it. And I don't know. I like fog. It, it, it's like if we, if we play a show out on the road that we didn't promote very well and there's not a lot of people there, sometimes I'll just lay my foot on the fog and just fog the whole bar up. As a matter of fact, this happened one time in Vegas last summer. And uh, I don't think there was anybody in the room besides uh, the band that we, we were touring with, the Autonomics. They were there, but I think they stepped outside to go chat with their friends. So the only people really in the room were like the bartender and the dudes from the band that were playing after us. And um, so I just literally laid on the fog so I couldn't tell that the room was empty. And uh, we just put on a crazy set. And anyway, it was really cool because um, apparently the band that played after us is a band called uh, Face Man from Denver. When we were rolling into Denver on the back end of our tour, um, they they got in touch with us via email and uh, they said they were so stoked and impressed on our performance. They'd been talking about it for the past couple of weeks and uh, they were excited for us to come to Denver and um, ended up buying us a couple of hotel rooms. Oh, nice. And came out to our show. So that was really fun. And the I, fog paid of off. course, yeah, I attribute it all to the fog. <laughs> Had nothing to do with anything else, just the fog. <laughs> had a little bit of a lineup change you got a new yeah. bassist we do we've we've gone uh through bassists like i go through socks um i have a lot of socks it's kind of a thing when i'm on tour i'll bring like 20 pairs of socks in case we don't find a washing machine we don't have time i always have to have clean socks the three things i need on tour well i guess there's four things clean socks um and uh a shower. I need a shower every night. One time uh, we were driving overnight. We didn't. We we just decided we were gonna go straight from I think it was like I don't know Oklahoma to Tennessee. Something like, I don't know. It was like a 14-hour drive. And instead of breaking up into two drives, we just drove overnight. And um, I couldn't find a shower anywhere, so we pulled over at a trailer park, and uh, there was a pool. And it was like I don't know five in the morning. It was still dark. And I just stripped down and jumped in the pool all <laughs> quietly and like rinsed all my grossness off. <laughs> I can't imagine you quietly doing that. Yeah, it was, it was I'm sorry, yeah. Oklahoma Trailer Park. That was kind of gross, but it needed to happen. Um, so yeah, for me, shower is like a huge thing because I sweat a lot uh, when I drum and I have to be cozy when I'm, when I'm sleeping. Um, so shower, socks, what's the third? Shower, socks, oh geez. What well, this one's not a necessity, but it's really nice when you uh, stay at a place that has Wi-Fi, like get a Wi-Fi password. Then I can watch Netflix on my phone because I'm kind of an insomniac. And, you know, you're all amped up when you're on tour and a bunch of stuff going through your head the next day. Oh, we got a long drive. I got to get to sleep. But it's like four in the morning or whatever. So I'm going to start texting you stuff to watch. And, or HBO Go. I have both those apps on my phone. So I'm just watching like the new Cosmos or I don't know. Normally stuff about the universe that just mm -hmm. occupies my brain. And then I'm like, wow, the cosmos are so big. And before you know it, I'm asleep. Um, Neil DeGrasse has that nice soothing voice, too. You know, I wish it would have been uh, this dude named Brian Cox. He's like much more channels Carl Sagan than uh, than DeGrasse. I think Neil DeGrasse kind of is like uh, more of like a scientist. And he's like, you know, E equals MC square. And, and Carl Sagan was like, the cosmos are this magical, you know, and he just has this thing about his voice that like sweeps you away. So there's this other guy that's kind of to me more like a modern day Carl Sagan. His name's Brian Cox. He's like a British guy and he kind of has that dreamy feel about him. Mm. He's, he's the same one that did the voiceover for Stephen Hawking's documentaries. Brian Cox is? Yeah. Hmm. I'll forward you the links. Yeah. Well, I've <laughs> seen that too. Yeah. I like Stephen Hawking's ones too. But there's, um, but anyway, he he does a special. I forget what it's called. Uh, something about the universe. Oh, there's lots of those I shows hear your out there now. Being played right now. Yeah, who's who's uh, molesting my spirit <laughs> channeling? It looks like that's Jacqueline back there. Sounds <laughs> good. On your drums. <laughs> Multi talented. 
Does that mean it's time for us to go jam? It, it sounds like it. I'm hoping you guys are about ready to go on air because you can see we're almost like a half an hour into it here. <laughs> That's why I dragged you in here. I'm like, let's at least get the interview part oh, taken care and of. And they're just playing Mr. Rudder over and over and over <laughs> and over again. It better sound good. All right. Well, for those who uh, want to watch, there's a link online. It is psu.tv. Oh, they can watch me. you guys play. I know there's a nice crispy visual. That way you can see our sound guy Nick running all over trying to figure out how to get the XLR yeah. to go. PSU.tv. Yeah, and that's it? Watch. Yeah, uh, there's the full link is psu.tv slash psu hyphen tv hyphen live hyphen two. Slash. Did you get all that? <laughs> And, and you can also mouthful. chat. There's a chat link on there just below the video. If you scroll down, you can chat with me, ask questions and whatnot. I didn't know that we were uh, going to do a, a visual thing, too, so I feel like a total dork wearing my KPSU shirt. <laughs> That's not a dorky thing. You're no, on KPSU. No, it's cool. But, you know, like they always say that it's a faux pas to go when you see a band to wear that band's T-shirt. Really? I personally have done that my entire life. <laughs> always rep the band. Um I've done that plenty in Phil. I've, I've found there's like a lot of things that I do in Portland that are considered faux pas. Like apparently you're not supposed to throw your own birthday party. Did you know that? Really? Who Except else the, is supposed to do it? People that like you. Because uh, most people in Portland are cool. So like, you know, of course you're cool. Someone else will throw a party for you. If you're not cool, you have to throw your own party because no one cares it's your birthday. I have to throw my own parties. I did last year. You were there. Yes, I went to the barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> that was a nice barbecue. I had a good time. Oh, and the show afterwards was crazy, too. Yeah, I think it's okay to throw you on party because my birthday's in December. Uh -huh. And so if I didn't, then no one would even know. Everyone's caught up with, like, holidays and right, stuff. Right, I think that's the thing. Like, you know, just if you're cool, like, people will throw it for you. I think that's silly. Yeah, me too. Yeah. But, you know just i'm finding out all these things now i'm feeling silly so i throw my own parties and i wear my own band t-shirt and i'm at kpsu wearing a kpsu t-shirt so okay, you're redefining cool let's yeah. go with that yeah, and i play with two bass drums i think that's a faux pas too <laughs> you got the double kick going on yeah just to keep your feet extra busy yeah because of all that extra mental space that isn't being filled up by carl sagan or whatever i don't know i can't boot you I still have a, um, speaking of my birthday party last year, a uh, super, super awesome uh, lady brought me, because I put on the Facebook thing, it was like, bring me kombucha. She gave me like a $40 gift certificate to Whole Foods. Oh, wow. Yeah, and like, because at Whole Foods, there's a, um, like a kombucha on tap, so I can like bring my growler in there. And oh my gosh. Yeah. That's a lot of kombucha. Yeah. Put it in a growler. Um, I think it holds like 64 ounces. Nice. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Okay, on that note. On that note. I, I think I should kick you guys out and just say, let's get you on air here as soon as we possibly can. Because I'd okay. rather just hear you guys play. Yeah, as so lovely as it is to talk with you, we need to get you on oh, air. Oh, I'm, ta I'm taking the hit, Rochelle. <laughs> taking the hit. All right. Okay, I'm going to get out of here. You get out of here. And I'm going to remind people once again that they're tuned in to KPSU, which is Portland's college radio. Streaming worldwide at www.kpsu.org, where you can also check out the podcast, download all the shows, all kinds of cool stuff there. You can check us out on the Android app, which is the KPSU official app. You can also check us out on the TuneIn app for i. Well, I was going to say iPhone users, but also for anyone with Apple products, really. So I'm going to think few people that make the station possible and plug some of the other shows here at KPSU and then hopefully I can get a happy death on air performing live. College Collage. College Collage. Monday nights, 10 to midnight. The best college, indie, and alternative music and more. College Collage. College Collage. With DJ Jake, 10 to midnight. Monday nights. Only on KPSU.org. And sometimes, why? Okay, and now, ready to perform for you live. Almost. Sorry, I guess they're checking one more thing real quick. 
do, do, do. Okay, you guys ready? Yeah? yeah? Yes? All right, now they're ready to go. Here is a happy death live on KPSU. Excuse me, sir, do you mind if you just 
the sun and slaves are here for me. I'll give you, I'll give you, I'll give you anything that you need. Get yourself a nice house, maybe one style. This next song is called Dirty Mama. We like it extra dirty. KPSU, and that's pretty cool, man. This next song is about a mother trucking transsexual man. One, two, three, four.
Okay, now really, here we go.
song is called Wet Dreams and it's available on our new album. <laughs> song is called Alpaca. It's brand new.
was a happy death that stay tuned we're going a little over on time but they'll be chatting with me for a few minutes before the next show comes on air here and i get to take the time to uh, thank the people that help make this station possible and tell you about some cool events going on for that i gotta remind you that you're tuned in to kpsu portland's college radio broadcasting since 1994 streaming worldwide 24 7 www.kpsu.org this is dj rochelle and this is still live friday as you were hearing a happy death in the studio They'll be chatting with me in just a moment, but first this. And I get a... Hey, you. The dreamy-eyed, head-in-the-clouds one. Yeah, you. You want to make a difference now? Got ideas about student tuition, issues of race and gender, drug policy, and many more issues on campus? ASPSU government elections are a perfect opportunity for any student to get involved and even run for ASPSU president. This spring, ASPSU campaign elections happen April 2nd to May 24th, 2014. Any information about the elections process, how to run, or just get involved at any level, visit ASPSU in SMSU, that's Smith Memorial Student Union. And this is DJ Rochelle. I know we're taking over a little bit of Jordan's time here, but he's being cool about it. So this way, a happy death, who you just heard perform live. Hello! Hello. Hi, DJ Rochelle. Hey, guys. All right. Jacqueline so I know you had stuff that you wanted to plug for the summer. Yeah. Now's your time. Do it. We're uh, we're going to be working with uh, these guys that are, that are putting on a show called Bands in a Van. It's uh, a new web series that we're going to be a part of for the first um, episode. They're going to help us put together a show uh, somewhere in, in Portland, and it's going to be really fun event. They're going to film it. They're going to videotape it. Um, they just launched a Kickstarter to help fund everything, so you should check that out if you can. And <laughs> it's, uh, their website is bandsinavan.com. So if anyone wants to check it out, that's where to go. The mascot yeah. is a VW bus named Hot Donna. Hot Donna. She's pretty hot. We got to ride her. She just um, got a new wax job. There are pictures. <laughs> uh, we also we also uh, just put out a new album. It's available on our website, which is uh, myhappydeath.com. Uh, we played a couple of songs from that tonight, and it's uh, available on cassette or digital download. Nice. And what about your upcoming gigs? Where can people hear you perform live? 
uh, we're going on uh, on tour in yep. Ju- July. 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 July and August. Doing a West Coast tour, so pretty much uh, you can see us anywhere from here to San Diego and, um, and beyond. And beyond. And beyond. <laughs> Speaking of touring, we also have a, a documentary that was done um, on our first tour um, like a year and a half ago or however long ago it was. Um, it was put together by a guy named Steve McDevitt and our former bass player, um, Mike McKinnerney. Um, so that's going to be coming out this summer, too, hopefully. And uh, we also have another new bass player. Dun, dun, dun. Introduce yourself. Hello, I'm Ted. I'm the bass player. Hi, Ted. Jour. <laughs> Say hello <laughs> to the world, Ted. <laughs> Ted came hello, down world. from heaven. Ted's hey. our new pair of socks. Rochelle Rich, will get it. No one else will. <laughs> when, you hear, when you hear the Inside podcast later, joke. I'm sure it'll make sense. <laughs> socks are smelly, right? <laughs> My socks are smelly. I'm not smelly. All right. Before we run out of time, because I don't want to take up too much of Jordan's show here. Thanks, uh, Jordan. Yes. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you, Jordan. It's hey. awesome. Um, what else do you guys want to plug before I kick you out of here? I think we like ran through the gamut really fast. Like, yeah. Bass player going on yeah. tour, doing this thing. And Bands also, in a there's band. a documentary. Bands in Kickstarter, a stuff. <laughs> Uh, I guess, you know, just uh, check out our, our website and also on our Facebook is a great way to find out what we're up to and where we're playing. If, uh, if, uh, if you have the internet, you can do that. <laughs> we, we also have a like smartphone. Wait, post annoying stuff and things. So <laughs> yes. Don't block us because of that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. I think that's it. All we, right. We don't, we don't have anything to sell. No. We're just, we're just yes. here for the no. love. Aww. Yes. All right. Well, if anyone wants stuff, they can check it out at myhappydeath.com. And, of course, the podcast will be up on kpsu.org. I'm going to throw up some promos here. Yes, no? Nope. He's ready to go. So we're going to put some music on now. Thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks, thanks. Thank you, show. Show. And Thanks for the cha-cha-cha. Oh, yeah. Cha-cha-cha. Made our cha-cha. Day. <laughs> I actually oh. thought that was code name for cocaine, and I got really <laughs> I don't think you can it. say that on the air, right? Can you say cocaine on the radio? <laughs> if you're joking. I'm joking. It's a scientific <laughs> totally joke. Joke. But it's I joke, thought folks. that you were... It's, never mind. Sorry. That's, no, what, made it, that's actually, what made it funny. <laughs> yes, I actually Thank brought you, you guys to KPSU. Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> <laughs> oh, real quick, can you guys do a station drop? Say this is a happy death and you're listening to KPSU. This, this is, is a happy, happy death, death and you're listening, listening to, to KPSU. KPSU. Woohoo! Ow! Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>